very nice to meet you, Madam President. Thank you very much for receiving us. Yes. 近年来，欧洲议会越来越关注台湾议题。我们看到，在阿西马科波罗团长以及欧洲议员朋友的支持之下，从今年一月到现在，欧洲议会和所属的相关的委员会已经通过了十项有台的决议案，其中包括支持台湾的国际参与，关切台海的和平稳定，也敦促欧盟和台湾针对绿色科技跟数位经济的合作展开。结构性的对话。这时刻，面对全球威权主义持续扩张，台湾有能力也有意愿跟国际民主阵线伙伴加强合作。因此，我在今年初提出强化欧洲链接计划，期待台湾和欧盟进一步的深化伙伴的关系，一起来建立具有韧性的民主同盟阵线。Let me repeat what was voted upon. By a vast majority of my colleagues in the most recent resolution in the European Parliament, on the democratic island of Taiwan, it is the people that will decide how to live. The EU recognizes that our partnership in, in, this, in, this, in trade and investment with Taiwan is a strategic relationship with geopolitical implications. In this spirit, let me express our gratitude for the fact that you are on the right side of history. In supporting our response to the unconscionable war of Putin in Ukraine, let me also congratulate you on your measured and responsible reaction to unprovoked and increasing aggression and provocation from China. The EU continues to maintain its One China policy position, but believes that the status quo in the Straits cannot be changed unilaterally. It opposes the use. Or threat of force or economic coercion against Taiwan from China.